You will be amazed to know that cholesterol in your body gets converted to vitamin D when it's exposed to sunlight. I love soaking myself in the sun. What about you? In this video, I will tell you about how you can synthesize your own vitamin D. If you do not have time to sit in the sun, but you can still synthesize your own vitamin D. Please watch the video till the end. Do not miss it. And let us also revise that vitamin D is the only vitamin which is synthesized in our own body. And let's give a quick glance at the functions of vitamin D. As you can see, it helps formation of bones. It helps contraction of muscles and much more. All these things you already know. What you may not be knowing is that deficiency of vitamin D can also cause certain cancers. For example, breast cancer in women is also associated with the deficiency of vitamin D. Prostate cancer in men is associated with the deficiency of vitamin D. Now you realize how important it is to have vitamin D. It can be taken as a supplement but that is not absorbed properly in your body. In this video, I will tell you how to naturally synthesize your vitamin D and if you have that twice in a week, your vitamin D deficiency will be totally replenished and you will get the supplement for a week. Non vegetarians get their vitamin D from egg yolk, meat, liver, cod liver oil and various variety of fish. If you are a fish eater, then you don't need to worry about your vitamin D. You just need to sit in the sun for about half an hour every day and your cholesterol in the body will get converted into vitamin D. That's why in today's times, due to lack of exposure to the sun, we have high cholesterol levels. In many of my videos, I keep you reminding about the sources of vitamin D and calcium. I have told in many of my videos that ragi is a very good source of vitamin D as well as calcium. Foxtail millet is a very good source of vitamin D and calcium. If you include these superfoods in your daily diet, your vitamin D requirement will be sorted. In addition, you can also expose yourself to sunlight. But in this video, I will tell you one more source of vitamin D where you can synthesize your vitamin D without sitting in the sun. Somebody else will sit in the sun and will synthesize vitamin D for you. I am talking about mushrooms. Here in this video we will tell you how mushrooms can be used and uh, they can sit in the sun and they can synthesize vitamin D for you. As I already told in the video that cholesterol in our body gets converted to vitamin D when we are exposed to sunlight. Similarly, mushrooms have one cholesterol that is called ergosterol. Ergosterol is a kind of steroid which when exposed to sunlight, UV rays of the sun soak the, those UV rays and they convert their ergosterol or their cholesterol into vitamin D. Let's see how you can make use of mushrooms to get your vitamin D supplement, a natural vitamin D supplement and if you have two servings in a week, two servings a week will make sure that you get your vitamin D for a week. Mushrooms belong to family fungi and today we are talking about button mushrooms otherwise we have lot of variety of edible mushrooms available in the markets. You just need to get the mushrooms and Wash them properly as shown in the video. Wash each mushroom properly and then let them sun dry for two days. Let them dry completely in the sun. For having maximum exposure to the sun, cut them into pieces. You can cut them into halves or you can cut them into four parts. Vitamin D is very very important for the absorption of calcium as well as phosphorus in the body. Both these minerals are very much necessary for having healthy bones. Not only this, vitamin D also helps in reducing the inflammation in the body. After drying up, the mushrooms will look like this and when you have to cook them, just soak them in hot water for about 4 hours and they are ready to be turned into the dish of your choice. Please do not discard the water in which you have soaked these 
mushrooms before cooking as most of the water soluble vitamins may get washed away if you discard the water so use it along with the water and turn it into yummy dishes and have two servings of it each week and you your vitamin d is sorted these are morals the costliest mushrooms of the world Please share your experiences of morals with us and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel where we are helping homemakers to choose right for their family. Thank you so much for watching.